Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 11th graders 2019, problem number 1. Uh, let an be a sequence of positive numbers such that uh, the differences converge to a non-zero number. So an plus 1 minus an converges to some non-zero number. We wish to evaluate the following limit. Limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n to the power of n. So it's a nice problem from mathematical analysis, calculus. Here are my hints. First, uh, let b n be the difference, so it's a n plus 1 minus a n. Note that since this converges to a non zero number, b n is not equal to 0 for sufficiently large n. Moreover, without loss of generality, you can assume that it converges to some number b, and this number b is positive. Because for negative numbers b, uh, well, show that it, it can be done without loss of generality. Pretty easy to demonstrate that. Next, show that a n uh, diverges to plus infinity. And note this fact that if we have some sequence c n which goes to infinity, well, in fact, 1 plus 1 over cn raised to the power cn converges to the number e, Euler's number. And finally, along the way, you may wish to use the uh, stoltz cesaro theorem to find limit as n goes to infinity of a n over n. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so let's let... Let's start. Let bn be equal a n plus 1 minus a n uh, or n positive integers. First, notice that uh, and let let it converge let it converge to some b where b is non-zero. Let's consider case number one when b is positive is positive. Now, that means that then, for sure, for sufficiently large indices n, bn is also going to be greater than zero, or sufficiently large indices, indices n. All right. Uh, what now? Notice that then, that implies in turn that a n plus 1, which can be written as a n plus b n, well, notice that this, uh, for example, we may say that, you know what, let's say the following, uh, that uh, let b n, hmm, or maybe, that, yes, let b n be greater than epsilon for n greater than or equal n zero, where, where epsilon is some positive number. Notice that then a n plus 1 equals a n plus b n, which is strictly greater than a n plus epsilon or n greater than or equal n0, and from there we can see that our sequence a n is increasing from some index. Well, at since it's greater than epsilon, we can iter iterate this. a n plus 2 is going to be greater than a n plus 2 epsilon. a n plus 3 is going to be a n plus 3 epsilon, and so on. Since epsilon is uh, positive, we see that this sequence is diverging to plus infinity. So, a n, a n, let's go from n0 to infinity, is increasing, strictly increasing, and diverges to plus infinity. And it diverges to plus infinity. All right, now, also, we'll, I will evaluate the following uh, thing. Uh, let's compute limit as n goes to infinity of a n over n. Well, I will use Stoltz-Cesaro uh, theorem, because notice that 
this denominator diverges to plus infinity, so it can be written by stolz chazarov theorem in this way, provided that this limit exists, but it is, it exists. So we have limit as n goes to infinity, well in the numerator we have bn, in the denominator we have just one, so it's b. Yes, here I am using by stolz Cesaro theorem. It's, if you don't know it, it's, a disc, it's the discrete analog of the L'Hopital's rule. All right, and now, finally, we are able to tackle our limit. Because remember that we wish to evaluate this limit as n goes to infinity. And I will do the following trick. a n plus 1 can be replaced by a n plus b n over a n to the power of n. And now we have 1 plus bn over an. Alright, and now I will do the following. I will write an over bn in the exponent. But of course, now I have to raise everything to the power... Uh, what power? A bn n over an. Now everything works well. Now, let's investigate what limits do we have. Notice that this right here, this number right here, it converges to number e. Why is that? Well, because this whole sequence, it converges to zero, because bn goes to some constant b, non-zero, an a -N goes to infinity. So, some non-zero number over, in, over infinity is zero. So, we have e in the limit. And what about this exponent? Well, let's take a look. bn converges to b, and as we know it, a n over n converges to b. So n over a n converges to 1 over b. So all in all, we have e, everything converges to e to the power b times 1 over b. But of course, it's just e to the first power, so it's e. So we have found our limit, found our limit. But now let's consider second case because it worked all well, provided that b is greater than zero. Second case, b is less than zero. But notice that then consider, let's consider a n tilde, a n tilde to be just minus a n. Consider b n tilde to be minus b n, and consider consider b tilde to be minus b. Notice that then, then uh, b n tilde it's a n plus one tilde minus a n tilde, so it's difference of these terms for obvious reasons. I'm just taking minus on both sides. Well, b tilde is this time greater than zero, and crucially, notice that a n plus one over a n to the power of n, well, I can put minus here and here, and I have a n plus one tilde over a n tilde to the power of n, and by the result of case number one, I know that this converges to e. In both cases, the limit is the same. In both cases, our limit is just e. So let's write our answer and let's finish this problem. So limit as n goes to infinity of a n plus 1 over a n to the power of n equals Euler's number. And that closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.